Hi, Gemini. I will be looking at a general forecast, money and love today. I will be representing uh, Gemini and um, I'll be looking and it could resonate with your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and get into the energy. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. All right, here we go. Looking at the general forecast now. Looking at the general forecast. I have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, the sun flipped over. Last judgment. So the bottom row now. High priest just flipping over. Justice energy. Higher font. Page of Swords. All right, let's look at money. Looking at money now for Gemini. Looking at money energy now for Gemini. Money for the month. Money for the month. Money for the month. Gemini. King of Cups. King of Cups. Of the Nine of Rods trying to come out on the table. Yeah, there could be something that the King of Cups is wanting. There could be something that, um, well, the King of Cups is like a, a, a masculine, it could be a masculine around you, Gemini. You guys could have a Kings of Cups around you. This would be husbands, lovers, family members connect into uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, the King of Cups likes to bring improvement. He likes to heal. He likes to connect emotionally. And um, there could be something that the King of Cups is needing financially or that he is trying to connect to but not able to um, succeed in. There's something here financially that will maybe... King of Cups is going to want to buy something. So there, if, if you guys are, if there are some of you that are married or with people um, and it, they're, they're more of an emotional type, type of person um, or they could be in a feel, field of healing or making things better and the King of Cups can also be like a, a person who helps around the home, like a handyman or a carpenter or something. Um, so it doesn't have to be in the healthcare field at all, but somebody who... Uh, wants to help improve and the king of cups is um, a, a good supportive person to have around so the king of cups is a beautiful person but the five of pentacles is here so financially you could be tempted to help the king of cups in some way but he doesn't have enough to pay for this he just doesn't have enough money somehow um, how will gemini feel about this the king of cups could be wanting something he just doesn't have um, how does the how does Gemini feel about the King of Cups? How does Gemini feel about the King of Cups? And if you're single, this would be like some sort of need that you would have, like uh, a need within the home or um, some sort of improvement in the, in the workspace or something. It could be. Um, but if that's the case, it's like there's just not enough money yet or something like that. I just want to pull another card. Three of Cups. Three of Cups connected in. Um... He could be looking more now towards the group of people. He could be kind of wanting what someone else has, perhaps. I, I don't think that anything is actually going to be spent. I really don't. I think that whatever is being is being brought up, it, it's for the future. I, I really think it's for the future. There's just not enough money yet. I feel like it's for the future, and it could connect in with other people, like a family group. Um, maybe with other people, he's maybe realizing, okay, if I can get a few other people on board, 
we could do this, right? He's like, okay, how could my family help? <laughs> you know, how, how could we do this as a group? But whatever is being planned here financially, I just feel like it's just not, yeah, it's there's just not, not, not enough time, maybe not enough money, not enough people, something like that. It's going to have to happen in the future. But I think that the King of Cups is planning. So if you have a masculine around, the masculine, and if you're connecting in, would be planning something that just doesn't have enough money quite yet. If there's no masculine around you, then this would connect in with the home, the workplace, your community, and something that you would want to do to help improve that. There's just not enough money yet and maybe not enough people. Okay, that that's the money reading. Um, let's go ahead and look at romantic love now. Looking at romantic love. Romantic love for Gemini. Romantic love for Gemini. Romantic love for Gemini. Empress energy. Romantic love for Gemini. Ten of Pentacles flipped over. Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords. Your mother's heart, like your mom, like not your, it could be your mother. It could be your mother. Uh, but we definitely have a maternal energy here connected into romance. So this could be for people who are married or who, who are connected in in a, a significant way to someone else. It looks like there's something here that is affecting the maternal sense. Um, you could be worried about, the feminine could be worried about something and she may not feel like she has enough or she has enough, um, she, she might be feeling inferior about something and worried about something, maybe worried about a child or worried about how, um, uh, how her partner might be viewing things because she's coming across the feminine here. Gemini is coming across as the mother and we're going into romantic love. So, um, the energy is, is interesting. This, this is, this would be con connected. This, this love story is coming out for people that are in significant relationships and probably have either pets or children. That's who I'm connecting into this time. And there could be something that the mother is worried about. Maybe she's spending so much time as a mother that she is, is lacking a connection with the partner in some way, or she may not feel like she has enough time or enough energy. I mean, she could even be worried about that. Am I, am I, um, fulfilling all of my roles? Am I being a mother and a spouse and a lover? Uh, there might just be some, she might have some pretty high standards for herself. How does the um, how does a masculine feel? How does a masculine feel for Gemini? How does a masculine feel for Gemini? Devil energy. Masculine feels the devil. Uh, the masculine could uh, masculine has a devil energy. Capricorn energy. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Well, the masculine is going to come forward this month with something really interesting. He could be very intense on some intent on something or very interested in something. Um, this could be coming as a, as like a little bit of pressure, a little bit. The masculine is bringing forward some sort of pressure towards the feminine. The feminine is in a maternal place, something that she's creating. She, be, she could be raising children. She could be creating something new, but she's in a very maternal space. Um, and the masculine energy is coming forward very intensely. Um, he could be um, uh, having some sort of an idea. He could be have some sort of an idea or something that he's really wanting to do. It could connect in with business or um, it could. Uh, I do think it's Page of Pentacles. It's something that's going to be um, good. I don't think it's anything bad, but I think that the masculine is very intent very intense on doing something um, connected in with uh, this Knight of Wands, which is fast, spontaneous, quick, 
plans and 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 with the empress she she's maybe saying like i don't have everything figured out yet i don't have i i don't she she might be she might not have time she might not have the energy she might not think it's like the right thing to do um this masculine has a um with the devil energy he does have the capacity of going too much too far too soon too long that kind of energy like a lack of moderation here but there, there's also like intense passion um interest i don't think there's anything wrong with the masculine and the feminine i just feel like they could be at odds with what their focus is or what they're wanting to do and the feminine might not feel like she even has enough time or uh, she it might you know for the masculine the masculine might think it's great fun for the feminine she's like well it's fun for you but um i have to pack i have to cook i have to get everything ready for you uh it's like you know when in the in the fall it's like when people when the when the, when there there are people that i know that like go hunting right i don't do that i mean i but there are people that go hunting and for the the man to go hunting oh yeah he has the gun and he has all the equipment he gets to go sit up in the tree fort and watch or whatever he does but for the feminine she's like cooking and she has little kids and she has to keep them quiet and you know it's it's you know something like that uh and for the feminine i i don't know necessarily if she is all that excited about this adventure that awaits her i'm not sure if she's all excited about it. i think that she's more concerned if she's going to be able to do it or not how does the masculine feel like feel about that how does the masculine yeah eight of swords so there's going to be there, there's a situation here where i think it's just going to uh the knight of wands is maybe not quite the right energy i think the masculine might have to slow down just a little bit he's coming in hot and heavy with something yes he's bringing in some sort of a a gift let's go on a trip let's go camping <laughs> and maybe the feminine has a couple little kids or something she's like camping sounds fun for a man but for a woman um maybe not so fun you know i have to get up in the middle of the night and nurse and i have to make sure that we have enough water and i have to make sure i have you know cleaning supplies and 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 for the masculine he lays there and he snorts <sighs> in the middle of the night just like that sorry i know that's that's obnoxious but like when i get into the energy that's the energy that's between so it's probably the the masculine's probably going to need to realize that he might be just asking a little bit too much of the feminine and then and um, he goes into the eight of swords now you're both in the eight of swords and then this knight of wands is stymied so it feels like the masculine is going to come forward with some great idea that he thinks it's good for the feminine she's like wait a second i don't know if i can do that and then maybe nothing happens uh, because the eight of swords comes in for the for the masculine as well you're both in the eight of swords oops i just knocked the flower off the table with my pinky and so i do think like whatever's on the table it gets like anything that's romantic about this might just kind of go down the drain how interesting oh my gosh well you do have the higher fun in the page of swords here <laughs> so that's what we have for gemini for love which is very interesting i i think i'm connecting into groups of people that are like uh in their daily lives working something out um, and whatever is being proposed i do think that it's it's going to be delayed because it, the feminine just might have too many concerns she might just push back just just a little and slow the masculine down i think that's okay all right, I'm going to go and put that little flower that I had on my table back because I don't want that. If I can reach it. Where did it go? I don't even know where it is. Oh, here it is. There we go. Put her back. Okay. Now, for the general forecast, um, for Gemini energy and you're moving into the Gemini in a general way is in the nine of pentacles. So, um, there is a, there's a, a sense of strength here connected to Gemini. Um, whether you're in a relationship or not, you're going to be strong on your own this month. You could be doing something on your own, right? You could be starting a new job. You could be starting a new business. You could be making some decisions on your own. Uh, there is a strong energy of independence around Gemini. And some of you could be connecting into some really nice wealth 
or some improvements in finances as well because justice energy is here. So whatever you're doing, Gemini, I think you're feeling quite satisfied and good about what you've done. You've made some really good decisions. And I do think it connects into um, self-reliance, um, self-sustenance, standing alone energy that, you know, where you walk into a room by yourself and you hold your space, right? You hold it with, with charisma, you hold it with class, and you hold it with the strength of, of what you know. And I, it feels like it's connecting into a career or into business in some way. Now, you're recognizing here that for the first couple of weeks that uh, you feel pretty good about what you've done. Justice energy. I, I think there's there there's a nice sense here for you. It's it's a it's a victory for the first couple of weeks. You you have a victory energy. Now you do have the Queen of Pentacles here, so you you do have a person around you that is um, a part of this month. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, this person could have her own business. She could be an administrator. Um, she could be a, um, um, uh, she does she could have any occupation, but she's very down to earth. She's very practical. Uh, she looks at the little things. She makes sure the little things are taken care of. Uh, it does look like this person is going to be, um, asking for some sort of like asking for a schedule or asking, checking. It's like, here you are like trying to, you're, you're working on some sort of structure. You know, you're, you could be working on a routine. You could be working on what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Is the page of swords is like a learning energy. There is an energy of vulnerability here or of watching closely or of learning. You could be doing something that maybe you haven't done before or uh, you could be trying to figure out, okay, what's the culture here? What the higher font is culture, it's religion, it's a structure. It's, it's something that we wrap around ourselves to help us to, to achieve success, whether it's with our, whether it's with our religion or our government body or the rules and the regulations, like the, the, like the employee handbook, right? Something like that. Like the Hierophant could also be the employee handbook. If you're going to work here and be here, this is, these are our policies, right? And the Hierophant here is in a neutral and with the page of swords. So it feels like you're really kind of, uh, spending time this month figuring out how you're going to do something. What's my system? How am I going to work? What kind of methodology am I using? And it could come with this learning energy, right? It, it does come with this learning energy. It, it doesn't matter though, because whatever's happening here is very good. It's very good. And as you're exiting the month, you have the judgment energy here. It's like you're recognizing the changes that you've made and the progress that you've uh, stepped into. It's like you're, you've stepped into something that you are doing because of your own capacities. It's something that brings benefits in, in a very practical way into your life. And even though you're learning and, and in a place where you're gaining confidence in something, um, you could be drafting up a contract. You could be, um, learning how to work with a specific client. Uh, it, um, we do have Libra energy here. Of Taurus energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And as you're moving out of the month, I think you're, you're recognizing that, man, this is, this is a really beautiful opportunity. This is a really beautiful opportunity. And I think that you're saying that I made a really good decision. I like the way this is turning out. You could be making a little, a few changes here. You could, but ultimately, like, I think you're saying, like, I really like the way this is turning out. This is like a new version of myself. Uh, definitely you're, you, there's a new version of you here. And I think that in, uh, you, the judgment energy is a very nice, uh, like a life changing. It's a life changing energy. What the way that you used to do it, it's like, there's a fresh new, uh, fresh new way. And whatever you were worried about before, I'm not, sh I, 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 I don't think you're worried about that anymore. I think you could be pleasantly you could be pleasantly surprised. You could be presently, presently surprised. You could be pleasantly surprised at your achievements, um, the atmosphere and the opportunities here. And I think that you're fitting in quite well. 
They think you're fitting in quite well to whatever this is. So I, ultimately, this is a good month. This feels like a job. It feels like something that has to do happens to do with a job. You have nine of pentacles, income, independence. I mean, nine of pentacles can connect into a job, and we don't take our spouses to our jobs usually. You know, I mean, we do our jobs by ourselves. We stand alone in our careers. I mean, unless you're in a family business or something. So, yeah, I think for many of you, this is about your jobs, your careers, your money making. And it is connecting into a queen of pentacles. So there is someone around that's working with you on this. She's going to be very careful. She's going to want to see details. She's going to want to see progress. It, th this could be like a boss or a coworker. Could be a sister or something too with the queen of pentacles she's very reliable very consistent very useful to, you know good partner to have but i do feel like she's going to be wanting to see some structure i think she's going to be wanting to see some structure and you're working on it you're working on it all right gemini that is the reading for the month um Leo has been cross. If I said Leo during this reading, I just want to say Leo has been crossing through my mind. Uh, there was been, there have been a few blips where I, I heard the word Leo. So some of you could be connecting in with Leo. Um, that would be enjoyment, making decisions, um, based on, on what's best for you, really enjoying those experiences, making sure that those experiences are for your better good. It does have um, some some type of Leo energy. So if I did say Leo, um, there is a connection in with Leo for some of you. All right, very very good. Uh, uh, there, I was going to say it again. So some of you either have Leo in your charts, you're connected to a Leo, or you're in a, a Leo type energy um, that's connected in to this uh, to this month for this group. All right, Gemini, that is the reading. Fishing all of you well. Looking forward to reading for you again in a few weeks. All right. Thank you.